Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you will, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of new videos coming out. Well, my search for cheap fountain pen friendly paper continues and I went to Daiso in Dallas just a couple weeks ago and wanted to do a review, but actually just kind of take a note, a note and see what other people have to say on it and just kind of compare for myself. So um, this is not fountain pen friendly paper. It's just really great uh, sticky note paper that I had um, in my stack. But what I found there were these. So Daiso is like a Japanese Dollar Tree. I have a video. Um, if you want to take a look, I'll put a link below. And they, it's not really dollar. It's like a buck 75 at the time of uh, this video, which is not bad um, in terms of the things that you find there, but they had this, and to me, it was looking awfully lot, lot like this, and this is the Apica um, notebook. It's a CD 11, and so um, anyway, so it was kind of looking like that, so I thought, well, I'm going to pick this up because Daiso is a Japanese store, and so they um, they have things that are like made in Japan. I don't even know where this is made. They do have like Brazilian imports, but I think they import to Brazil. Yeah, there it is, made in Japan. So I thought, you know what? It's still Japanese paper, so don't know how it'll do. And um, I have to tell you when I opened it up and cause it's just laying there like this. So you can actually kind of feel uh, how it might be so that's kind of the nice thing about going to the store and taking a look and seeing so this was just a note uh, memo pad with a hundred sheets and um this is a b7 size and so i mean that's not bad for a dollar 75 right and so because i was looking at some other things and while some of the apica notebooks are not that expensive they're fairly re reasonable these would be even better so I went ahead and purchased that one, this one, and this one. So this is a B6, and that's a B5. So those are the three that I saw that they had. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed one of each. But this, like I said, is actually an Apica um, notebook. And so you can see that there's, you know, their markings back here, and they have kind of the information of the size and stuff. And things like that so and then the apica brand name here or apica i don't know how they say that so that this this one is actually not my uh my own notebook uh th these are my husband's notes and i like the feel of the paper of course you can't feel it on camera which is kind of a big bummer but what i'm going to do since this is his notebook i'm just going to write um I, I normally don't like right on the very like way back so i'm gonna write over here and then we're just gonna compare different pens different um types of nibs and things like that so this is uh diamine blue velvet in my diplomat traveler goodness i almost forgot so this is uh diplomat traveler with diamine blue velvet okay so i'm just gonna go like that and see so the drying time is not too bad on this and then oh yes let me compare it to this because uh all of them believe it or not are the same so that this one feels the same does it? Yes, it does. Okay, it feels the same as that one. So I'm not gonna write in every single one. And then, oh, this one's blank. So that's kind of nice. Oh, that's way close up, sorry about that. Uh, but you saw that it was blank, so there you go. And uh, this one, I guess I did not write with a diplomat. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do it up on top. So there's that one. And then I have the Faber Castell Loom, which I don't have with me right now. So we're just gonna skip that. And then I have my trusty Pilot 
Prera with uh, Suyu Kusa. So I'll write with that one. And this is the CM nib. Mm. And of course, that's going to be a little bit more uh, in terms of drying time. So I'll do that here. Ooh, that really sat on top. This is a Platinum 3776 with a, is that a, oh, medium nib, yes. Oh no, that's not next. Next is Opus, so let's keep, keep it in order. Goodness, I'm having a hard time with that. So, Okay, and now I shall do the Platinum 3776. And this is a medium, so let's make this D into AP. Whoa, no, that's not a Platinum, what am I doing? It's a Pilot Falcon, there it is. It's a medium, and what did I ink this with today? Oh, uh, I have it right here. This is why I have to depend on my own notes. It is with Asagao. And this is a medium nib, so that's not too shabby on there. So let's try it here. Okay, and now for uh, the rest of the pilots, which is, uh, did I do that? Yeah, okay, here's my, my falcon. And by the way, I have no rhyme or reason other than these are just the pens that I have inked right now. So I just wanted to see how all of them behave. nicer if I was in a little bit tighter here. I have to tell you, I love this cream color. It's just pleasing on the eyes. I think it's better than just this white-ish color. So just my personal preference. And I will do uh, the Pilot Custom 74. And I think this is, yes, a fine. And this is CO row. Okay. Nice color combo, don't you think? Pilot custom. Whoa, there. 74. Okay, so yes, this is not quite apples to apples, mainly because it's white paper in the um, Apica, and then it's this creamy, wonderful paper on this one. So let's just take a look. So I, I'm not seeing any feathering or anything in the $1.75 one. It looks pretty good. It also felt really good, felt very smooth. And then let's take a look at the back of it. It looks pretty darn good, other than the only one that's kind of coming through. Is it the huh, Falcon, it looks like? But, I mean, it's not coming through at all. It's just a little bit of the um, show through in the back. So, 
So really, actually very well behaving paper. I'm also looking at uh, the Shimmer ink, which is the Pilot Pizzazz. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can actually see it shimmering. So can you see that? Don't know. Okay. Um, and then here, yeah, I can see a little shimmer on the purple pizzazz. And then the rest look very true um, as far as the colors are concerned and very little show through. So on this paper, there, I mean, it's a, it's a premium um, A5 notebook for this one. And uh, it has, I mean, it has a nice, amount of um even my husband uses fountain pens but you can kind of see some of it looking uh coming through a little bit not not bleed through but it, you can see it on the other side you know so if that bothers you i can yeah it might be a problem it isn't a problem for me i don't really care on these inks though you can see a little bit more but on this it seems to be actually less Believe it or not, look, there's hardly any show through on that. Whereas you can kind of see some of the writing there. So who knew for a buck 75, these um, fake apicas are not too, not too terrible. Um, so the next time I head down to Dallas, um, I may have to pick up some more. You know, you never know uh, because you, these are obviously knockoffs. They're trying to make it like that. But there's a part of me that kind of wonders, you know, uh, I used to work for a manufacturer and back in the day, and uh, they made different lines for different people and put their own branding on it. So I don't know, uh, is it just, is it a dupe or is it just a different rebranding? Who knows? But I tell you what, for the price and all that, that's not too bad. I don't think it's a rebranding because the I don't know, the design on the cover is totally different. So anyway, not bad though, uh, especially for just little notebooks that are laying around in your in your book bag or just to jot down um, some, some notes. I mean, goodness, for less than $2, you can uh, pick up something that's, well, it's still less than this price. So I got three of them for that price. So guess what? I'm gonna be driving down and stocking up on some of these uh, come, uh, the next time that I'm down there. And uh, I think that's about it. So if there is a Daiso around you, I know Texas has them, California has them, and other places has them. Not They're not in every state, which is kind of a big bummer. But uh, if you have one close by you, why don't you check it out? And if you have some friends who are living in these states uh, close to a Daiso, give them a call and just renew and rekindle that friendship, why don't you? because guess what? They can drive down and go pick up some notebooks for you. So I know that's terrible, but you know what? A friend in need is a friend indeed. So for the next one, uh, until the next time, um, I will actually, before I sign off, I want to tell you that I also bought a calligraphy rice paper from Daiso. So I'm going to be doing some tests on my pens uh, that are already inked as well. And then we'll, we'll just kind of check that out as well. So that if you are making a trip down there, you can kind of load up on all of it. So I'd say that was an experiment well done. Um, until the next time. Bye.